a whole chicken in the Ninja Speedy rapid cooker and air fryer using a thermometer that I've had for years. It kind of has a wire that we're going to run through the lid and monitor the temperature of that chicken so we don't have to raise the lid a bunch of times. Now, we're also going to use a quick start guide, which I've already done one. This is kind of a take two because I think the temps are a little high and you'll see why I think that in a minute, but take my word, this this, the steaming of the chicken and then air frying it, it keeps it moist. It works excellent. And the fact that I've already done it once, I've already got some really good footage on how well it cleans up at the end and uh, how well it reheats. I ran out of the refrigerator the next day, put it in here and steamed it a little bit, and it was just as good as it was the first day. Let's do it. Okay, so here's pretty much everything I'm using in the recipe. In fact, it is everything. And it starts with this 4.36 pound whole chicken and then this thermometer i will say i've had it for years it looks rough around the edges but it worked excellent uh, i did a test with it the other night if you saw the video i have but we're going to run that wire through and monitor the temperature of that chicken and uh, here's the recipe i use is there it is it's uh it's this whole chicken uh, there's the number we're going to change that 400 we're going to lower it and at the end at some point I'm going to put in what happened last night when I did it at 400 or and uh, you'll kind of see why I'm changing it I even bought a new uh, jar of this because uh, you know you got to check your dates every once in a while I buy those big jugs well I ain't sure that's the best all the time because they will go out of date and it wasn't bad but it's a little bit and I'd rather have fresh so I'm buying the uh smaller ones now avocado oil we're going to spray it with that and then maybe salt and pepper that's kind of at the table stuff but i'm about to get this opened up get the giblets out of it get it cleaned as well as i clean it which i i go ahead and rinse mine they say not to but i'm going to and uh, we're going to get it sprayed down and sprinkled be back Okay, so there is our chicken. Now, I wanted to mention that I reached inside the chicken and got this giblet bag out, but I'll also say it doesn't have a hole in it either, but this was also in there. So keep that in mind. Just because you get that bag out, it doesn't mean that's all there is, and sometimes they're right here. Now, I did rinse mine off, but I'll, I'll say I have a fairly large sink. I can get it in the bottom. Don't do anything unsafe and splatter, you know, chicken juices on other stuff but you know just be careful when you do it the other thing is this right here either cut those wing tips off which might even be easier but if not well maybe it's not easier but if not just tuck them under like that and that way they don't burn up and you don't want them to you know burn because that would i don't know you just don't want them to burn but i'm about to put my avocado oil on here then i'm going to sprinkle it with my lorries i'll be back Okay, so there's about what I do to the back side, the side that's going down. And take my word, you want to put seasoning there because you're going to eat that. I promise you, or I did, and I think you will too when you see how well this does. But then I'm just, I just spray, or actually this doesn't spray that well. So I just kind of squirt a little bit of, a, of my avocado oil and I got to retuck that wing. And then I'm going to, do the same thing here. So I want to rub that in just like that. And I got to, we got some things to do to make it a little prettier, but it's not, you know, it's not going to be anything big, but I'm not going to do a lot here just right now because I'm going to do it again when I put it in there in case I kind of mess up my seasoning because I'm kind of anal about that. So we're going to stop right there till I get it in there and get my water in. As a matter of fact, we'll put the water in now. Here's the cup of water that we're about to see that they call for in here. So, Okay, so one of the things that is fairly important when using a thermometer is hitting the thickest part in the center of the chicken away from the bone or from whatever you're doing. You don't want to be touching the bone. And you obviously want to be in the thickest part. Well, I'm going to call it right there for the thickest part of the breast. And I'm coming in from this direction. One reason because I don't want it hanging out like this, you know. So I'm coming in from right here, and I'm going to run that where I would think is pretty close to that magic point. But I'm not going to go just by that. I'm still going to use my instant read. I, I just am. Now, this will tell me, you know, how often to check, or it, it'll give me an idea. That's really all I can say. Now, one thing we're going to do, 
is we're going to run the thermometer out this side. And, and it does have a gasket here. You don't want to be sawing it or anything. But take my word, it's the same thing they do on their grill. Their, 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 uh, the Ninja grills have a gasket too, I'm pretty sure. And anyhow, they, they run them. This is the way they do it. So, you know, you, you, you can take this challenge <laughs> or this uh, if you want to. If, if you're afraid you're going to hurt something, by all means, don't do it then. But, in fact, I can lift that out of there and kind of show you what it looks like in there from here. So, there's where we are, and I'm fairly close to the center. I, I'm not even expecting to be dead center. I'm not, because I'm going to use this. I'm going to make sure I'm 160 before I pull this chicken out. And I know I talk too much on that. It, it, maybe I do, but it's, it's, it's that important. I, I don't want to uh, hurt anybody. <laughs> or myself and i don't want to overcook my chicken so there we go i'm going to get that in there the cup of water as you saw is already there so i'm going to get the camera set up a little bit different and i'll be back okay so here are our instructions and the ones i followed last night whole chicken right here steaming crisp uh four and a half to five pounds i'm a little under that and i was last night also uh by the way it says trust <laughs> well i've got uh, butcher's twine right here but take my word i don't think y'all are going to do it and honestly i don't do it much anymore either neither does any of my family members so you'll get a better idea of what happens when they're not trust because i'm just it's just another step that i don't think is needed brushed with oil well we put avocado one cup of water you saw me put it in uh crisper tray bottom position that's where it's at temp 400 there's where we're changing and uh cook time 40 to 50 minutes well i don't know what the time's gonna be because we're gonna be watching this but i know what the temp's gonna be i'm I, I did the 400 last night and as you'll see i'm going to add it at some point if i hadn't already it was really dark so i'm going to close that you see i got everything set right there now i do run this out the back because it seemed to work better i had it out here last night and it was letting a little more steam out than I like, but it, it was not a crisis, and it, it, it is not. It won't be. We're going to, uh, we're doing steaming crisp, so I'm going to move the camera. I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot about it. I should do this probably more than a, a different way, but just bear with me. Uh, we're on the steaming crisp. It's, it's already at 390. I'm going to 360. That That's what I think will work. The time I'm going to take it to an hour because obviously this will not shut it off. I've got to watch the time and I'll probably have to watch it a good bit because I've lowered this temp so much. I'm not really sure what to expect, but we will know in a minute. We're off and running. Uh, steaming crisp, 360 degrees, and uh, we'll be watching that and backing up with this. See y'all in a minute. Oh, and by the way, it's 12.43 if you see that clock right there. So that's what time we're starting right now. Just, I mean, I just pressed that button. Okay, so the air fryer just came on 30 seconds ago, and it's 12.49, if, if, that'll, if that helps at all. <laughs> but we're at 159. As soon as it hits 160, I'm going to open it up, and we're going to see if I'm off real bad, and I could be. There, there's no doubt. And I'm waiting on one more number right here of 159. There it is. So let's raise it. And it looks a lot better than last night. In fact, it, it looks really good. You can hear it snapping and popping. And uh, let's just get an idea. It's almost hard to do. I hate to stick a hole in it. <laughs> but that skin was crispy. And I shouldn't have been talking where you could have heard when that thermometer went through and right there's 168 i'm going to look right here i see 154 153 i i believe it'll make what i want there's 150 i see 155 right there 154 so i mean i'm not i'm obviously not you know right dead on where i should be in the center but again that is why i use this and i wish you know there's there's no way of uh, determining exactly where i am with that on 162 but you know what i i think it'll make it uh i'm gonna look one more time and i hate to drag this out but 161 
158. I'm going with that. I'm going to let that chicken, I'm going to pull that chicken out. So 116 or whatever that was, <laughs> got to do that again. 117, and I'm about to pull that chicken out. We're going to get it right here, let it rest a minute, and then we're going to slice it up and just see if it's good. Be back. Put my gloves on and lift this up and out to kind of get it out of that heated area and then i'm still going to move it to here i don't know why i have my camera set up i'm going to move it to to this plate and uh we're going to give it a few minutes and cut it up okay i just set the camera up totally different to where we can uh, get this chicken out of here and let you see what it looks like i don't really know why i wanted to video it but i did now I'm going to leave that sitting there still. We're going to let it rest five minutes or so before we cut it up. But, you know, you, there's there's plenty of uh, broth right there if, if you need to broth. But <clears throat> we're not going to mess with that tonight. We're just going to uh, uh, mess with the chicken. And then maybe tomorrow night when I reheat it with that steam. But you'll see all that in a minute when I show you what I did last night. All right, as you can see by the clock over there, I went a little further than uh, five minutes, but take my word. We're at 167, if you can see that. Let's make sure you can. We're 167 there on the eye grill or the Weber as it is now. And uh, we're going to see what we are right here. One si well, 167, 168. I mean, that's uh, almost impossible. And I promise you, I'm right at, that's got to be really close. So what we're about to do is cut this chicken and see what it looks like. And you can see right out of the gate right here, let's see, juices running clear. I'm fixing to remove that thermometer, but the juices are clear as they get. Uh, the thermometer deal is uh, the way to go. And I'll, I'll, I'll go to my, well, I, I just swear by it. I'll leave it at that. So I'm going to slice this breast just like this, and it is still pretty warm, believe it or not, it is warmer than I thought it would be. So, I'm gonna take my time. Make sure the camera can see what I'm doing because this is a one-shot deal. And I probably got my arm in the way, but uh, pardon me. <laughs> and then cut that like that, and then let's see what this piece of breast right here looks like. And you can see it's, it's done all the way through that is hot uh i just don't know if you can beat that it's it's as good as it gets juice is as clear as i get we'll check a leg and let it drip just a minute but you can see it is as good as that also is uh, just as good as you get. You don't you don't get them any better than that. It's not dry. In fact, I'm having to let it drip, so you can see it's not dry. You know, I I didn't think about making thumbnails. I got one of the whole camera. I mean, the whole chicken, but <laughs> it'll just have to do. So that is 100% excellent, and uh, it it just is, and plus. At some point during this video, you're going to see where I reheated. Man, it was just absolutely spectacular. It, I promise you, I don't like cold chicken, if you know what I mean. And uh, it reheated with that steam as good as uh, it is right now. And I know it will do it again. So I'm going to, tonight, I'll eat that half of the chicken. And I'll put that in a container in the refrigerator, and tomorrow I'll do the same thing I did last time, which is steam it for 10 minutes, and then let it, I let it sit for about 5 or 10 after that. It was, uh, it was as good as it gets. Hey, I hate to keep sounding like this is the best thing there's ever been. I'm not saying it. Well, let me say this. The one lid, the one lid, it does the same thing. It'll do everything this one will do, plus air, for, I mean, plus <laughs> pressure cook with a thermometer if you get the right one which is absolutely crazy too that you can pressure cook with a thermometer now i never thought i said it before i never thought that would happen i do like this one for being square 
and it's going to come on when I close it, so I'm going to have to close it. Because see, there were still 32 minutes left. But I'm going to turn it off. But the fact that you can air fry, it's, this makes for a lot of people, especially if you don't want to pressure cook, uh, to me, it's it's a great unit. And you you can do a lot of things from that right there. You can open it easy while you're cooking at any time because it never locks. And uh, check your temps or whatever you want to do. Shake, whatever you want to do. Uh, I think it'll. I think it's a great unit. I'm just leaving it at that. I mean, there's a lot of them on the market that are good. Just steaming to me, although a lot of them can do that too. But steaming in this unit, it just seems like a good setup. I'll, I'll, I'm going to hush. Okay, so I started doing this before I thought about it, and I it immediately hit me. Why don't, why don't I show this? Uh, this is from the chicken last night, and you see how it looks. Now, I put it on sear saute for... I want to say it was 30 seconds, whoops, uh, 30 seconds. I just left it on for just a minute, and then I cut it off and let it just get warm. It's by no means hot. But you can see how the Ninja stuff cleans. It's obviously just a regular paper towel. And I'm, I'm going to knock off all the high spots before I put it in the sink, and that's because I'm kind of, if you've watched my channel, you know I'm kind of anal about putting fats and stuff like that in my drain because I well I'm on a septic tank but that's not all it'll clog up your pipes but you can I'm just gonna do this right quick so you can kind of see you know about how fast it wipes off this uh, coating on here is pretty nice you know it, it, at least it is right now as you can see so I'm going to do that right there then we're gonna knock this off the bottom of course I got a lot a little bit more to go I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna get that crazy about it a lot of it some of it's going in the sink but let's see right here so we can get an idea i'll just wad that one up whoops and we'll see how this right here does which might not be quite as easy and i could let that heat a little bit more but i have to put it on the bottom so i can put a little force on it but then and you might can hear it and i wish i could show it to you better but i guess i can but it breaks off fairly easy comes right off of this coating and i'm just doing this so you can see or kind of know what to expect but that's that's how it does right there so pretty much all of that's out of there and that's way better than putting it in your sink right there so now you know okay so i wanted to show this also uh this is the chicken that i did last night that i thought was overdone and not not saying it wasn't but you can see it doesn't look that bad even now but i put it in a container uh captured all the juice and all and i put it in a container and put it in the refrigerator overnight well here it is i came in a while ago put it in maybe i don't know maybe 15 20 minutes ago and i put it on steam hit it automatically goes to 10 minutes and I hit start and uh, like I said it, it's ran its whole course and it's probably been another I don't know maybe 10 minutes it is sitting here over this hot water but you can see 171 right there 159 right there no matter where I go it's uh it's heated through and through is my point and it's still moist it's still not dried out and I guarantee you uh, if I had something to lift that out of there with, I could show you a little better. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of going further than I meant to here. But my point is, heating with steam. And, uh, kind of wasn't ready for this, but you can see. There's what it, there's what it looks like. It's very, very hot. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's as good a chicken. And it tastes as good as it did last night. I almost can't tell the difference, and I'm not pretending. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Try it yourself, and you'll see. And although I was, I was concerned with it being dark last night, after I chopped it up, man, it looked excellent. So I'm still going to cook another one probably, but there you go. That's, there's what you can do. I didn't realize I didn't have it in the camera, but there you go. Anyhow, I'm going to make some more pictures of this and try and find something for a thumbnail. I love y'all. Y'all come back to see me, and y'all have a good night.